What's up guys, Danny here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can uh, mask on a Twix clip. So you might be thinking this is really, really simple and I don't really need to do a tutorial on it, but people have been making many mistakes of it and they just don't know how to do it. So today I'm actually going to show you how you do it. So uh, I'm just going to rename this to clip first. And uh, usually you want to do your Twix first, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to find a good point to do the Twixter after the shot. Um, probably about there. Yeah, I would have thought so. So, let's just change the frame rate to 59.94. Keyframe speed. Go ahead, about 8 ish frames. Or seven I did and just set a keyframe down to one well it's our personal preference of what speed you want it right uh, now you're probably thinking like okay he's done the twix there now we need to do the masking um, if you mask on this clip it will not do anything at all as you can see it's done nothing and uh, the reason because of that is because Twixter uh, in order to do slow motion it samples from pixels all around itself so if you're taking away pixels then it just doesn't allow it to uh, be slow motion so there is a way around this and uh, what you do is you can pre-compose it uh, let's just call this Twix oh Twixter and uh, you tick both of these, uh, you put it into a new comp and move all attributes into a new position, composition, sorry. And um, it'll just bring it into, into that comp. And in this one, you can go freely with whatever you want to do. Uh, and that's where we're going to do our um, masking. So I'm only going to make a really scruffy job of this. But uh, obviously, when you do it, make a good job of it unless you're purposely not wanting to <laughs> make it look good or something I don't know it's always good to spend time and edit um, I'm just gonna quickly mask around here shouldn't take too long but, um, also I haven't actually used this just yet uh, I'll probably end up using it some time I don't know when though uh, I just kind of randomly thought about it uh, experimented with it and realized it works so I decided to keep it as an idea for a tutorial oh that was a bad one okay so this time it actually works and uh, let's go down to our masks keyframe the mask bring down a little drop down menu and I'll do it about 3 pixels or something like that it depends how scruffy your mask is because mine's really scruffy just because it's a tutorial sorry um, I'm gonna go to the last bit of here and I'm gonna need to adjust some of these keyframes so I'm just gonna change this to none for now and uh, just move all of these little points closer so it masks again and all that stuff all the good stuff oh put that on there Let's bring oh okay decided to be random eh um go away Java Oh, don't know how I managed to click on that when I clearly clicked X. I'll probably watch this back and realise that I didn't click X. Well, I know that I didn't. But, um, yeah, if you, like, have any other requests for tutorials, like, uh, I don't know, some sort of effect that I put in a video. Then always tell me. I 
I always just spawned most of the time, unless I'm busy or something, and I'll be a bit late responding, but I still will. And, uh, yeah, so that is masking on Twixter. And it does work. It works fine. Uh, you might have to adjust it about this point or something because it it might have just moved, but that looks okay. Uh, you know. And what you actually can do is if I control D this, bring it down, let's actually do that, get a mask, take it off, and uh, if you fade a clip in, and I'll, I think I'll just quickly do it. Um, sorry, Dylan, I keep on using all your clips. <laughs> Um, I'm actually editing his episode, so I have some of his clips, almost all of his clips. Um, this could be like a good fade, like transition type thingy. Um, it looks quite good. Uh, I've never actually seen it before. I just kind of randomly thought about it, so yeah, that's what happened. Um, maybe about this point or something. Uh, T for opacity, click, T for, op oh no, don't need it on that one. Uh, go about 30 frames ahead, something. Here, and it'll be on to, you know, second clip and stuff. And uh, then you can make that disappear, I don't know. Whatever you want to do, I don't know, just giving you examples of what you can do and uh, yeah that's about it really hopefully that was helpful probably wasn't as <laughs> much but uh, I kind of wanted to get that tutorial out of the way so yeah don't know why it's going so slow but uh, you can see a little preview of what I just created. It's not up to standards, but I'm sure with a little messing about and all sorts of stuff, you could make it look awesome. Um, I don't know. I might put it in like one of my latest edits so you guys can see what I was thinking and stuff. I don't know. But yeah. Doesn't look too bad. It's not. Looks kind of cool, really. Even though it looks like a picture. Oh, it's actually Twixter. But ah oh, well. Let's just play it when it's done. Which is yeah. Yep. So that's it. Uh, if you have any tutorial requests, then uh, leave a like and also comment. Um. Or just like PM me on uh, YouTube or add me on Skype. My Skype is on my channel. And uh, if you're new, then subscribe. It's worth it. So yeah, peace out.